Between July 22nd and 24th, the Accountability Lab hosted an innovative anti-corruption hackathon in Johannesburg called Hack Corruption. The hybrid event brought 100 young people together from South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Lesotho, Zambia and Kenya to co-create Take for Good solutions in a number of key areas, including public procurement, beneficial ownership and open data. Implemented with the Center for International Private Enterprise and supported by the Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs at the U.S. Department of State, participating teams developed a number of tech solutions that devised creative ways to make procurement and data standards more transparent and ensure citizen engagement and oversight. The winning teams will now be supported to build these solutions into working prototypes for public and private sector organizations in Southern and East Africa. Hello, I'm Richard Nephew, the U.S. Department of State Coordinator on Global Anti-Corruption. First, I would like to thank the Accountability Lab for organizing this event and all of you for your participation. Criminals are rapidly adapting and using technology to engage in corruption and to hide ill-gotten gains. Governments must also innovate to keep up with this evolving landscape and to take full advantage of the beneficial opportunities technology can provide. We will continue to identify gaps where new technological solutions are needed and to develop new solutions. I'm so excited to see such diverse participation from so many countries, sectors, and technical backgrounds. Corruption is a complex problem, and there is a great power in bringing together people with different skill sets and varying perspectives to identify new and innovative solutions. Good morning, everyone. I'm joining you from the Partnering Against Corruption Initiative at the World Economic Forum. We are an agenda setting platform working primarily with companies, but also governments and international organizations to address corruption and promote integrity in the private sector. We are very pleased to partner with Accountability Lab on this anti-corruption hackathon. Here at the forum, we believe that technology has tremendous potential to level up the impact of anti-corruption work. Now, at the forum, we are very eager to see the solutions you will be developing over the next few days and will do the best to promote promising approaches. At Accountability Lab, we have a decade's worth of experience finding and incubating change makers who have amazing ideas for social accountability. And Hack Corruption offered us the opportunity to find people with tech and governance skills to come up with new uncommon solutions to the common problems around corruption. We propose a solution um, that will meet the government halfway, already having the legislation in place, and that is a platform that enables open contracting and transparency in public procurement. So our problem statement that we chose to tackle is open contract open contracting and transparency in the public procurement sector. Our solution, it's an e-platform which allows for procurement of goods and services by government. It works in a simple way whereby it's, it's built on a already pre-existing system of the CSD. So our solution is the Citizen Watch App e-government procurement monitoring system. Part of our solution we built a web application we chose a web application because it would be uh, the most, it would be the best way to reach the largest number of people. But in the future, we would want to make further developments to the system by adding in SMS, WhatsApp function, and different avenues through which users can get information. Our solution is a web-based system. The system also has the ability or uh, the AI and uh, the ML uh, ability, which means it's able to predict the price anomalies and that's how it's able to flag that. Our solution is called Corrupt Fix. So what we want to do is that we want citizens to know where the funds go. So our, our solution is a website that lets any individual um, in the country or states to see how funds are being allocated, how they're being managed and how they're being used. The pro project I'm working for is the Transparency, Integrity and Accountability project of GIZ. And our objective is basically to support the South African government uh, to fill the national anti-corruption -cor strategy. 
Um, part of this is um, open data and also you know, open procurement. You know, we, we were very excited when we, when we met with Accountability Lab to, to, to really be part of the process because one, I think like you're saying, it's, it's, it's a lot of young people who, who think about the problems and the issues very differently. Um, it is exciting. It's exciting uh, developing all these solutions for corruption. It's exciting to be the one uh, bringing the change instead of uh, waiting for someone else to do it. So it's actually very important for people to be equipped with the right tools of technology to be able to address these issues because they are the ones that identify the issues within their communities, within their regions, within their countries. The experience for me has been exceptional, uh, specifically because I've gotten to network and connect with like-minded young people who are really passionate about tech and uh, specifically tech for good. Very, very enlightening. I've learned a lot from all the presentations that have been shared. I've learned a lot from my teammates and meeting people from different countries with different expertise. These platforms are truly important. I'll use my experience as an example. Before I came, I used to think that my voice was not being heard. From this hackathon, what I'm taking home is I've just not been directing my voice in the right channels. So I think when people get together and then they gain very, very new perspective about very common issues that we're all sharing, it also helps gain perspective of how maybe we can address those certain things in a different way from how we've been doing it before. That could help a lot in solving the problem in the end. Oh, well, um we were really thinking about how do we build communities of young people especially who um, are interested in actually developing and making, bringing direct solutions towards the issue of corruption. People are excited, um, people are so thrilled to be connecting and connected to other people from other parts of the world. You know, we, we, we really are so keen on having this to be a travelling um, hackathon. Um, we focused on six countries in the continent um, this year. We're hoping that maybe we can uh, visit another region, um, maybe in um, South and Mesoamerica, um, to see where, where, how we can connect communities who are you know, very into this whole hacking and coding thing and have like, really good applications already and seeing how we can kind of level that up and scale that up and start bringing dialogue between, uh, across the South Atlantic between South and Mesoamerica and um, Africa.